I've been playing Tama drums ever since I was 17 years old. And uh, I've played many of the different lines from Imperial Star to, uh, you know, Star Classic, Maple, and now I'm playing the Babinga Shells. And um, to me, it's, it's the most richest sounding Tama drum I've ever played. I mean, it's uh, really the top of the line. They have the perfect combination of what I want out of a drum, which is attack, but you also want them to sing with tone. And um, the Babingas really have the best of both worlds. So, uh, you know, throughout all of the different drum lines I've played with Tama, I think I'm uh, happier than ever with, with the Babingas. My previous kit was uh, the, the Tama Star Classic Mirage drums, which are acrylic drums. And to be honest, the acrylic drums, more than anything, just looked awesome, you know. It's, it's still an amazing looking kit on the stage. But in the studio, I really wanted um, some good old fashioned wood to beat up. So uh, that's when I started looking for, uh, you know, some different wooden shells and when when Dream Theater was making our latest album actually Tama sent me a Babinga kit and a Birch Babinga kit and on our latest album um, I actually mixed up the two kits so some songs are on one kit some songs are on the other and I uh, love them both for different reasons but when it came uh, came to putting together a new touring kit I, I ultimately chose full Babinga kit. I've been using the double kit setup now for, um, I don't know, seven, eight years now. Uh, and it's evolved from, from tour to tour. But the idea essentially is if this is two kits in one. A lot of people will see this massive kit with three bass drums and two snares and two thrones. And they think I'm just showing off. And how the hell are you going to play that? You only have two arms. I don't really play this whole thing in one shot. Really, the whole concept is two kits in one. And the idea came about because I was using a smaller kit for a lot of my side projects, a single bass, smaller setup. And I really was enjoying it, but I couldn't, I couldn't imagine scaling down for Dream Theater. So it was like, well, do I play a double bass kit or do I play a single bass kit? And then I said, you know, what the hell, why don't I just play them both, put them side by side. So the whole idea is to have a big double bass setup on this side and a single bass setup on this side, and I go back and forth from song to song or section to section. And this particular setup is uh, the same setup I've had for the last couple uh, years. I had the same setup on the last tour, but uh, the shells are different. But basically, you know, on this side of the kit, we have a traditional double bass metal kit, you know, typical big drum set, you know, with two bass drums, three racks, a floor tom on each side, four octavons, and, uh, a, a wide range of cymbals and stuff. So uh, that's, you know, the left side. And then the right side of the kit is a little bit more experimental, a little different, a smaller bass drum, single bass drum with a double pedal, a smaller size kick, you know, a gong bass drum, two octobons, um, a single headed tom. So really there's no traditional toms on this kit. This floor tom from the left side of the kit kind of doubles for both kits, as does this hi-hat. This hi-hat is my main hat for the right kit and my X-hat for the left kit. A lot of these symbols right up here are kind of double for both kits. With both kits, I have uh, a Melody Master on each side, but my left side of the kit, which is the the double bass metal side, I use my 14 inch Melody Master, which is uh, the, uh, the wooden snare. Now on this side I have my 12 inch uh, steel shell Melody Master. The two thrones enable me to go back and forth or have a guest come and join me. I've had Scott Rockenfield from Queensryche, Alan White from Yes, uh, Mike Mangini, Richard Christie, Charlie Benante, uh, Jason Bittner, 
you know, all these guys have come and played double drums with me through the years. And, uh, you know, whenever I have a, another drummer friend at the gig or if there's another, you know, another band we're on tour with, if I want to invite them up, you know, we, it's fun. And um, that's the concept, you know, really two kits in one. Yeah, it keeps me and my tech very busy. <laughs> It's a lot of responsibility. Uh, as you can see, it's a fairly large kit. The whole left side of the kit is basically the same kit that he had from the get-go at the beginning. But then he started doing some of the, a lot of the side projects, like the liquid tension and stuff like that. And they had Tom had made some similar kits for him to use on that, and he really liked the feel of those kits. And he just sort of morphed it into adding, you know, adding on to the kit that he already had. Basically the same thing over the years. It's just gotten a lot bigger. <laughs> I mean, with Dream Theater, it's you know the it's real technical music, so the, the the drums aren't real big and boomy, and each drum has you know a solid hit or a solid note uh, to go along with the music. But uh, it's pretty much you know it's, you try and get all the rings out. You try try to get it you know short short sustain on the drum. The the trickier parts are miking it up. Luckily, luckily, I have a lot of help here on the audio crew, but uh, this kit's been very, uh, very uh, reliable. It sounds, it sounds great. You know, the name of the new Dream Theater album is Black Clouds and Silver Linings, and when I went to Tama with that name, I figured it was wide open for a really cool finish. And uh, they showed me a few different things, but this was a finish that they were working on, which really was perfect. The black and silver st sparkle streaks and... Uh, you know, our whole stage setup on this tour, you know, we have clouds painted onto the amps and uh, cloud backdrops and basically everything on the stage is black and silver. So uh, this finish was a perfect finish for uh, the kit to be using on this tour. 